In the last episode, the motor and transmission got a much needed facelift. Today, the drivetrain and the back end get the hookup. Building a classic chopper isn't just about the nuts and bolts, it's about the form as well as function. As assembly continues, Dave and John make the critical decisions about the style of the Call Sam chopper. Let's have a look at this process through the eyes of the pros. Take it away, boys. We're wheeling and squealing at Bad Pig Customs. The tires arrived late to the game, so to make up time, John and Dave previously installed the front wheel so that they could mount the motor. Next, they attach the rear wheel and adjuster, which adjusts the belt for the primary drive. Since the primary housing was heated in an oven, they must replace the bearing and seals using a hydraulic press. With that done, they move forward with assembly. The primary is an essential part of the drivetrain. It links the engine to the transmission, which provides rotational power to the back wheel. Now that the bike has its go, the team turns their attention to its show. They mount the rear fender, but Dave isn't sold. Like it needs to come down further. There's too much of a gap here. So we're gonna try a couple other fenders to see if we can get it closer to the tires. Looks a little more custom that way. On to option number two. This fender is fatter, which better covers the wide tire, but its curved shape draws more attention to the gap over the wheel. How about option number three? So it fills it in, so it doesn't look so high, just sitting there. It gives us more real estate to play with right there. I don't know, let's put the gas tank on and see what that's gonna look like. Well, if you look at the front of the bike, the front of the bike's skinny, the back of the bike's fat. We're gonna start skinny from the skinniness, because we are I don't even think we're gonna put a front fender on it. I think it looks tougher without a front fender. The handlebars aren't gonna be wide, they're gonna be narrow, so we're going from skinny to the fat tank to the fat back. They bring in the seat to see how it looks but its upward curve creates a visual conflict with the downward curve of the fender. Because it don't look good with that seat. Kind of the flow, you know? Dave makes a quick modification on the first fender to see if he can get it lower over the wheel. It's looking better, but will it work with the handlebars? They would be like, they're gonna sit like something like that. They look wide, I mean, that'd be the fattest part of the bike. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should be narrower. Luckily, Dave has another set on hand. See, so it brings it from the narrow to the fat again. After taking a step back, Dave sees the forest for the trees, and as the raffle deadline creeps closer, the Bad Pig team has their work cut out for them. Decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> on the next call, Sam Chopper Shop, the guys get a handle on things and really start bringing the heat. You won't want to miss it. As a rider, it's been a blast watching this bike come together. Agreed, really great work so far. Hey, if you're a biker and want to score some free Call Sam Chopper Shop swag like the shirts we're wearing, just follow our social channels. We'll catch you next time on Call Sam Chopper Shop.